Hello everyone. Today we'll learn how to install Kubernetes cluster on a virtual box environment. So I have three servers here. Uh, one is Kubernetes master and uh, two are Kubernetes workers. So for Kubernetes master, I've given uh, two CPUs and for uh, workers, I've given one on CPU. So I have started uh, my machines, all these machines. So let me log into them. I've logged into and the Kubernetes master here. This is my Kubernetes master. And these are uh, the Kubernetes workers. So let's start uh, installing on the Kubernetes uh, cluster on it. To do that, uh, before uh, going uh, to install uh, Kubernetes cluster, what we need to do is uh, we need to set the host name that we have already known, and then uh, we need to set the AC Linux to disable state. So I have already disabled it. So you can check that by AC status command. Uh, where you have to go is uh, etc. AC Linux config here it will be in 4C here and you need to change it to disable and then uh, reboot your machine so it will be disabled you have to do uh, this on all the uh, all the system in, uh, in your uh, Kubernetes uh, cluster then uh, the file comes the firewall I have uh, disabled the firewall here uh, if you want it to be running, and then you have to open the port so the communication should happen. For that, you need to open uh, uh, open port uh, six four four three, and uh, you need to open port two three seven and two three seven eight, and then from uh, port 10 to 50 to 10 to 55 you need to open all these ports uh, in your uh, firewall d if uh, you want to uh, keep this firewall d uh, daemon uh, running as i have uh, disabled the firewall d here you can see it here i have to do that uh, on all the host then i have to disable the swap uh, that you can do by using swap of Hyphen A, and you have to do it permanently disable etc. FS tab, and uh, you can see I have commented it out. You have to do this again uh, on all the hosts. Then we have to do the mode prop. Now uh, we have to load the module for. Uh, we are net filter and uh, we need to echo one to <coughs> this is required uh, you know uh, the cna plugin to be uh, uh, to work so that it can get ipv4 uh, ipv4 forwarded to the containers uh, <coughs> ipv4 packets so after all this done, what we have to do is we have to do etc host and, and make an entry for all this Kubernetes server, Kubernetes master, Kubernetes worker 1 and worker 2 as we have 3 hosts here. So you need to make this configuration on all the hosts. After that, uh, you need to add uh, the Kubernetes repo. I have added the Kubernetes repo here. So if I go to etc yum dot uh, repos dot t, I'll just do a cat and Kubernetes repo. 
Uh, this should be the content of your Kubernetes repo. It is for uh, CentOS 7. So I have given you a link for this and uh, it should get uh, Kubernetes packages uh, from this repo. Once this part is done, you need to install uh, the <coughs> Docker and uh, KubeADM. You, ha you have to add a repo in all the hosts and then you have to go for you know, install docker kubeadm I have installed it, it will show me that uh, both the packages are installed, you can see it here. After you install these two packages, uh, then you have to start these services. So to start the services, what you can do is uh, system CTL start docker and we have to enable it as well so and then system CTL system CTL enable docker and then now uh, you have to start uh, kubelet Kubelet and enable Kubelet also. So, Kubelet. This is done. You, you need to do all these uh, steps on all the uh, nodes in your cluster. Once uh, you have uh, done this, now it is time to initialize the Kubernetes cluster. As you see, I have two IPs here. Uh, one is for uh, NATI, another one is for uh, uh, for host only adapters. So, what I'll do is uh, I will uh, I'll give. Uh, the IP uh, that my control plane uh, should have. So I'm giving this IP as uh, for my control plane. So I'll have to mention that endpoint. Once that is done, just uh, enter it. It will do the pay flight check and pull the images that is required for the Kubernetes uh, cluster. Now, as you see, uh, it is uh, uh, giving us uh, information how uh, we should add the uh, cube config and uh, how we should be able to join our, uh, our Kubernetes uh, cluster, uh, or like Kubernetes worker nodes uh, to this Kubernetes master. So I'll just copy it and save it uh, in one of the notepads. So let me do that. Now we should uh, go to the worker nodes. So uh, here, as I have already said, uh, you need to uh, disable the swap, you need to disable the Linux, you need to disable. Uh, the firewall D and uh, you need to add uh, etc host entry and uh, then install docker and uh, qadm on this and start uh, docker uh, service and the qlet service on these hosts okay so you can see I have added uh, all this information here and I'll just check AC status here yeah, it is disabled Okay, and uh, now I'll uh, check the status of Docker system CTL status status Docker. Yeah, it is running. You can do uh, um, the same checks, and uh, you have to uh, do the same uh, procedure that you would run uh, um, 
done uh, till lock cube uh, atm in it uh, you have to do that uh, for all your worker nodes except uh, you just uh, you don't have to run key vdm in it on your worker nodes apart from that all these inform all these uh, steps that i have described you have to do that in your kubernetes uh, worker nodes once that is done we'll come over uh, here again we'll create we'll copy the configs so yes and uh, we'll change the ownership of the config file that is done now it is time to add a uh, uh, add a networking pod so if you see the information uh, if you see the information kubectl get nodes it is saying our uh, master is ready let us add a internet working uh, a pod that would be used for to use for the overlay network or kubernetes to do that i do this so it is saying that demon set has been created so it will run a pod uh, on every uh, worker that is being joined to this uh, cluster so let us see kubectl get pods on all the name spaces you can see it is running okay now uh, we need to go to the worker nodes and uh, let me copy that uh, join command with the token that i have already saved from the qvdm init uh, output i'll just copy that run it over here it is doing doing the pre flight check now you can see that uh, the worker node has been joined to the cluster we'll come back to the master and uh, see the nodes give ctl get nodes so you can see uh, the queue worker has been joined but the status is not ready well uh, then go back to the worker node 2 and run the same thing a uh, pre flight check uh, is failing okay so i'm not set to one the bridge filter yes so let me do that again that is done now let's join it okay so you can see uh, it is joined uh, to the cluster now we'll come over here and see the queue uh, worker is ready now queue worker to will uh, be ready in a minute or so
now you can see uh, the status has been changed to ready that is it uh, about uh, the kubernetes installation and uh, joining the worker node then on the further uh, videos i'll be uh, describing how to create pods how to how to work with services and how to uh, uh, do other steps with the uh, kubernetes cluster thanks for watching this video thank you